Welcome to training tape number one of the spring games. Um, we are uh, starting this training tapes to uh, make everybody better as officials and uh, to get us all on the same page and see us our ourselves on film. First couple plays, uh, we got a kickoff and the umpire is on the wrong side of the field. Right now we got the umpire, he's on the actual linesman side of the field. If the uh, linesman right now could have stopped this play, got together with the referee and get that umpire over to the other side, that way we're all in position uh, at the start of the play. We don't want to be on the wrong side. Right now you can see there's two officials on that side. So um, it's not too late right now to shut this play down. You know, I know we don't want to embarrass an official, but you know, just stop the play, huddle up, act like we're talking about timeouts, and then get the, get everybody where they're supposed to be. <laughs> next play we got here is uh, we got ball rotation issues on this next play right here. You're gonna have the quarterback take the snap going to roll out to his left he's going to throw an incomplete pass probably about 20 yards down the field and back judge is going to go get the ball and umpire you can see kind of looking for another ball doesn't know where he's going to get it now we got the players lined up it's fourth down they're going to punt and we still don't have a ball out there now we got two balls out there and it just looks very sloppy very sloppy ball rotation so we need to clean this up we're going to see another clip of this one in slow motion and we we'll kind of just talk through this right now. Uh, we got an incomplete pass. Back judge is going to go get that ball that's out of bounds right now. Right now we should be getting that new ball from the line judge's side, get it out to the field, and um, back judge should be taking the old ball back to the line judge's side. And then we got what happens is back judge has got the ball. He throws it to the umpire who's not looking, and we got a ball on the ground. And then line judge brings out a new ball, throws it to the referee. He realizes we got two balls out there, throws it back, and this ball hits the ground. It's just sloppy. Don't want to let the ball hit the ground out there ever on the field. <clears throat> so let's clean that play up, guys. Next play. Next play is going to be an illegal shift wide receiver on the line judge's side you see him down there on the bottom of the screen kind of bouncing around and just not that's not long enough that's an illegal shift we'll also support you shutting that play down for a false start um, but at least get the illegal shift on that you know, we'll see it one more time in slow motion you can see his feet are shuffling he's not set and he moves back and then we got the snap it's just not enough time illegal shift false start was called on the left tight end this was an incorrect call. Let's make sure we get these right guys' point of emphasis this year. Watch the tight end snap. He kind of goes back, but that's not a false start. He 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 knew the snap count, and the other guys didn't move. Uh, if you watch this again, <clears throat> watch that tight end. Watch the ball, and that's not a false start. If we if we are going to call a false start there, throw your flag, blow the whistle, and stop the clock, and let's get a little jog into the referee and tell him what we have. Uh, let's not walk and you know kind of it looks lazy and looks kind of sloppy. So if you got a flag, know what you call, th run in there and tell him what you got. Illegal shift, wide receiver line judge aside. It's another one just not getting set. Move, see his feet shuffling around. That's an illegal shift. We'll even support you for a false start on that play uh, as nothing good's going to happen after he's uh, he moving around like that. We'll support you assimilating the snap on that play but uh, definitely a legal shift. So uh, watch, watch it again. Slow motion. His feet are moving. They're not set. His back foot's still not set. Yeah, get that every time. That's an easy one. Okay, sideline coverage. We're going to have a running play to the line judge's side, and the quarterback's actually going to go out of bounds. We don't want the line judge to leave the spot without dropping at least a beanbag. 
we would like you not to leave the spot at all, but we see we got two guys moving. Where's the spot? You know, it's the spot could get lost, so let's be careful with that. We'll see this again. It's got a running play to the line judge side. At this point, the referee, everybody's trailing the play. We're all watching. Referee and the back judge do a good job getting over there and getting getting into that huddle. You know, if there's a fight or something going on, we want to get to that spot. But, uh, you know, number nine was okay in that play. Nobody was uh, messing with him. Um, so just keep officiating. <clears throat> All right, we would like our wing guys to slide to the spot. We want you to do more sliding to your spots. Watch the headlinesman. He's going to kind of walk and profile is what we call that in squaring off. We want you to slide your feet. Slide your feet to the spot and square off. Keep your body square. It keeps your eyes square. You won't lose uh, any vision uh, if you stay square and, and you're sliding. Also, make sure that that box man doesn't move until you tell him to. See how he's moving? That's We want him staying still. This was a great call for progress. Tough, one of the toughest calls for wing guys with the quarterback being sacked is getting that four progress. Boom, right there. He's down at the 15. You'll see the wing guys square in. And when it goes to the next clip, you'll see that we're on the 15-yard line. Very good call by these two wing guys getting to that right spot. Good, good for progress. We'll see it one more time in uh, slow motion. Snap, step back, and boom, right there about the 15, maybe a, maybe a step inside. And you see the wing guy squaring up down the line using the new mechanic. Very nice work. Very nice work. This is just one more angle. Okay. Uh, scrimmage kick out of bounds. Ball's going to go out of bounds on the linesman side. And right there. Right now we want to be stopping that clock. Right now, stop the clock. Hold your hand up. Get to the spot. And when you get to your spot, there you go. See, he's stopping and it too late. Probably four or five seconds ran off that clock. <sighs> so... Good mechanic and everything. We just want you to right now when you're blowing your whistle and killing that play, stop the clock, give it a couple stops, get to your spot. Very nice. Just get just give us some some clock stoppages before you get before you get to their spot. Next play, illegal substitution. We're going to have 12 guys on the defense on this play right there. Back judge has got the flag. Snap was imminent and we had a we had a defender in a position the illegal substitution good call we'd like to get two flags on this play guys one of the, hopefully one of the wing guys is helping that back judge count both of them should help and be helping them count so we should be communicating like hey we got something wrong we got 12 guys so let's at least get two flags on this play Good DPI call right here by the uh, back judge and, and headlinesman. You're going to see at the top of your screen, wide receiver going out, and he gets cut off right there, and ball's in the air. Good call for DPI. Back judge, let's get that flag a little closer to where the spot of the foul is. And when we got two flags like that, let's make sure we're coming up to one of each other, make sure we know we, we both have the same thing, DPI, and one, one guy reports to the referee. We're gonna see, uh, I think, two more ink, two more clips of this one. This is the same DPI, and you'll see right here, boom, cuts them off. Great call. 